Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. This is a news update for InfoLive TV, July 19th. Time Marco Tutkevich. Walid Abedi, commander of the Islamic Jihad Al-Quds Brigade, said the organization is considering halting the suicide bombings in Israel in an attempt to bring both Israelis and Palestinians to a mutual calm and ceasefire. Abedi revealed the details in an interview with Ynet. Prime Minister Olmert said he'll seek to fully implement the recommendations that appear in the State Controller's report on the home front during the Second Lebanon War. The scathing report published Wednesday found that the home front was severely neglected by the country's leaders, was left exposed, vulnerable and unprotected. Dr. Alon Liel, former Director General of the Israeli Foreign Ministry, said a top advisor to Syrian President Assad recently told him that Israel and Syria agree on 85% of the issues which need to be resolved before a peace treaty can be signed between the two countries. The United States accused Syria and Iran on Wednesday of playing a negative role in Lebanon and said there is clear evidence of arms smuggling across the Syrian border to terror groups in Lebanon. A UN-appointed team that assessed the border report late last month said that security was too lax Tony Blair, the former British Prime Minister, will make his first appearance as special envoy to the Middle East today at a meeting in Lisbon to discuss ways to breathe life into long-stalled peace talks between Israel and the Palestinians. The German investment Deutsche Bank views Israel as one of the leading economies among the emerging markets, a review published by the bank stated. The bank's economist said that the Israeli economy continues to show stability. Already without a kippah is how billionaire Kadi Gaidamak described himself during an interview with the Haredi radio station Kol Chai on Wednesday. Gaidamak plans to run for mayor of Jerusalem in the next elections. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, an exclusive interview with Knesset member Itzhak Levy. And Syrian President Assad's peace overtures. Today, the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem. InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.